Hey guys, Rob here. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, Jeannie and I finally got moved into the new house at the end of February, beginning of March. And uh, with the uh, whole virus pandemic and everything else, we're still in the process of getting things uh, settled in. Uh, a lot of the tradesmen haven't been able to come in and uh, fix up and patch the new house. But uh, eh, we're slowly getting there. It's going to be a year or two before I have everything put away, I think. Uh, we're still living out of boxes and half of my stuff I can't find. Uh, anyway, quick quick look around my gar new garage. And you can kind of see that things are really crammed in here. In fact, uh, I was only able to get my motorcycle in here about two weeks ago. For three months it sat on the back porch, covered up. Have not been out riding it much lately. Actually, not at all, to be honest with you. Um, so, anyway, uh, for today... My goal is to take some uh, uh, garden hose hangers and put on the sides of the new house so I can wrap up my garden hose. I've got my garden hose laid across the porch too. And it's been that way for all well, three months since we moved in, almost four months now. Uh, anyway, I uh, thought I'd uh, drag you guys along with me and just to say hi and uh, uh, post something out there, let you know I'm still here. And uh, hopefully everyone is doing well. I uh, hope you're all staying safe during the pandemic. Uh, I know things are starting to open up, but uh, it looks like we're going to get another round. Anyway, let me uh, let me get to work here. All right, I think I got all the tools that I'm going to need. I got an impact driver, a drill, level, some Tapcon screws, uh, some uh, sockets and pliers and screwdriver. And anyway, I think I'm set to do it. And what I'm going to be installing. And this little cheap ass hose hanger. I actually had this one in the old house holding up some uh, spare air hose for my compressor in the garage. I had two other ones on the outside of the house for the hoses, but I left those for the new owners. So anyway, I'm thinking there's my hose bib. There's my porch, and you can see I've got that all coiled up there, which doesn't look so great. I think I'm going to put it right here in the corner, just to the side of the bib. Maybe about right there. Yeah. I've also got to hang one up near the front of the house, too. I bought a new one at the Home Depot yesterday for that. Anyway, yeah, these stupid little things got expensive. I think I paid like eight bucks for it when I bought it five years ago for the old house. Now I go online to Amazon and they want 30 bucks for the damn thing. The hell with that. Anyway, the one I got from uh, Home Depot is about 22. And it's a little fancier, looks a little nicer. Uh, considered using one of the uh, hose reel types, but uh, I don't like the enclosed ones because here in Florida, you never know what kind of little critters will start living in there, including snakes and other things that could bite you. And uh, I looked at the open reel type and anything that wasn't $100 or more was just a cheap ass piece of plastic and that wouldn't last. So anyway, I don't mind coiling up the hose by hand. Anyway, let me get to it. Alrighty, I got my two holes drilled. They are reasonably parallel, straight up and down and plumb. And I got my Tapcon screws started. Uh, one little trick I wanted to mention to you guys, in case you didn't already know, if you're uh, installing Tapcon screws or any kind of screws or bolts or anything into concrete or really hard materials, if the hole doesn't go all the way through, which in my case it does because I'm apparently right into the uh, middle of a cinder block. But if it didn't go through, you got to make sure your holes are a little bit deeper than your screws and that all the dust is out. The reason for that is if you don't and you start to tighten down your, your screw, your bolt, what's going to happen is that dust is going to compress or the screw is going to bottom out and it's got nowhere to go. So you're just going to wind up stripping it out. You're going to have to put in a bigger bolt. Ask me how I know. I didn't do it this time, but last time I installed these things, I did. Anyway, uh, back to it. Alrighty then, there's one of them. Put it up kind of high so it wouldn't drag on the ground. I can get up under it with the weed whacker. And it seems to be pretty pretty sturdy. It ain't going nowhere unless, uh, unless I yank on it real hard. That's good. Anyway, now to do the other one. Alrighty, this is the front side of my house and uh, the hose bib up front here. At least this one's in the shade. Whew, boy. 
it's only about 10:30 here in uh, central florida and i think it's supposed to get up to 91 today and it is hot especially standing in the sun here in the shade it ain't so bad so glad i did the other one first anyway let me uh let me get to it and i'll show you what i do here okay guys uh just for reference these are the tap cons that i'm using uh they're a little bit fat short and stubby i think they're like a one and a quarter maybe one and a half and I'm using a 3 16th inch drill bit, masonry drill bit, to drill my holes. And uh, it should be able to start threading in there kind of tight. I was going to use a, uh, a longer, narrower Tapcon, but couldn't find the right drill bit. And once I drilled my holes, I realized uh, the smaller ones definitely wouldn't fit, so I had to use the slightly larger ones. And I unfortunately don't know exactly what size these are. Uh, I've lost the... Uh, I've lost the information that came with the tap cons. I also lost the uh, drill bit, or if I have it, it's mixed in with a whole bunch of others. So anyway, uh, other thing is you need a nice, sharp, relatively new, decent masonry bit. Otherwise, you'll be standing there forever. Uh, I've got I've got some decent little little bits that I had uh, sharpened on a uh, drill doctor a while back. Anyway, yeah. All right. Now that I got one of the tap cons in, I've. Uh, Put the hose mount up and uh, now I've got to level it out and mark where I'm going to put the uh, the second tap con. Uh, it's a little funky with this one. Anyway, I just kind of snugged it up in there. I'll have to loosen it up and take it off to drill my hole and get the other tap con started. But uh, luckily I can go from the bottom here. Let's see if I can do this with one hand without marking up my wall. Yeah, see I'm just a little bit off. So I'm going to straighten that up and I'm going to mark the hole and uh, get back to you in a second here. Alrighty, there she is. And you may notice that uh, that is not the same hose that was on there originally. The, uh, the hose that I had on there was a little 25 foot yellow one that I bought for irrigation in the backyard. The builder here put an irrigation system in. You can see my Rainbird controller over there, but only in the front yard. Uh, front yard is St. Augustine, backyard is Bahia, and I guess they figured that uh, I could manually water the Bahia. It's hard to kill that stuff. Doesn't look as good though. Anyway, I bought a couple of little cheap sprinkler heads and so that's what that other hose is for. This is a little cheap 50 foot hose. I got at Home Depot yesterday when I picked up the, the hose reel to go up here. And you can see that one looks a little nicer. I figure it's better for the front of the house. Um, this hose is a cheapo. It was like 25 bucks for the 50 footer didn't feel like spending a lot of money on a really good hose for the front just in case it uh, decides it wants to walk away one day. Uh, as you can see I'm close to the street. Uh, the hose I had up here was a really good one but it was about five years old and it developed a big ass bubble in it so it was time to replace it. It was about to blow. One thing I like about this new neighborhood is man I got some good water pressure. Uh, at the uh, the old house, it was a really nice house, but the water pressure pressure was really weak. Any hoozle. Um, hey, there I am. This is Rob, and uh, hopefully I'll get this posted today. It's Saturday, January twentieth, twenty twenty. Anyway, I hope everyone is doing well, and I hope you are staying safe from the virus. Hope you and your families uh, have uh, managed to miss it, and uh, nobody's been getting sick or especially dying. This virus is really, uh, really serious. So uh, please take it as such. Um, if you're not worried about getting it yourself, think about your family, your friends. Hell, think about me. I'm an old man. I got health problems. If I get the virus, it's probably going to wipe me out financially or kill me or both. So anyway, you guys take care. Um, hopefully I'll be seeing you before too much longer. And this is Rob and uh, wishing you a good day. Bye.